It was a foggy autumn evening and the sun had already set, leaving the mystified glow of the streetlights as guidance to my impartial sight. It was a night just like this one that cost me my left eye. A few years ago, I had moved here to this small town of Camden. I had figured that moving to a small rural place from a large urban town would be much more relaxing and peaceful for my mind. Everyone around here knew each other, and it was rare to find anyone who didn't know the news around town. So it was put on full blast that the town would have a new trespasser, as they called me. A few days after my arrival to the town, and my successful moving greetings with some of the more lively neighbors in town, I had begun to hear rumors and stories about the town itself. The rumors included things such as murders, destruction of property, rape, etc. Me, being a big time city folk, blew it off, because it was pretty much normal for me. What I didn't realize is, I wasn't in the city anymore, and these things are rare to happen, seeing as everyone knew each other, so no one would dare do such a stupid thing. About four days after, I had begun hearing the rumors, and I heard a knock on my door. Who the hell could that be? I wondered, seeing as I really didn't know anyone else around here. I opened the door and surprised to see the police chief, a surely gray-haired man about 180 pounds, and several rookies standing behind him. Good day, off, I began to speak. But before I knew it, the officer had me in cuffs and was hauling me to his cruiser. What the hell are you doing? Let go of me! I yelled as he pushed past me over to his cruiser. You're coming with us, whether you like it or not, his only reply was. No matter how many times I pleaded for my innocence to whatever charges placed against me, I was ignored. Finally, one of the rookies unholstered his pistol and aimed it at my forehead. Continue talking, and your only breakfast today will be a piece of lead. Understand? I was silenced. We arrived at the station in a short period of time. They hauled me out of the back of the cruiser and shoved me indoors. We're going to ask you some questions. If you don't answer them honestly, the consequences will be dire. I nodded my head, being careful not to speak. I didn't want to annoy them, lest I want a bullet to my head. Okay, first question. Why did you move here? What was your incentive? I was shaking from fear. I had no clue as to why I was taken. I... I moved here because I wanted to get away from city life. It it was annoying, I guess you could say. I attempted to say with confidence. But it only came out with fear, of which I felt. Hmm. Fair enough. He spoke with ease. Now, one more question. Then we're done here. I could only nod. The menacing pistol of the rookie pointed at the temple of my head. The chief leaned in close. I could smell the alcohol on him. Do you believe any of the rumors you've been hearing around town, son? I was confused with the question. Why would that matter? N no sir, I answered. It was true. I didn't. Okay, we're done here. Take the cuffs off and drive him home. The rookie complied, helping me up and drove me back without a word. The next few days were silent. I sat in my house in utter silence, thinking upon what had happened that day. Why did it happen? What did I do? Do they believe I'm the one doing this? Questions raced through my mind, and I couldn't help but wonder what had happened. I moved from my bedroom into my living room, and sat in the recliner adjacent to my only window, and stared outside into the dark. It began to rain heavily without a single moment's notice without hesitation. Hmm. Interesting. I stated, looking up into the sky. The sight was pretty interesting indeed, seeing as not a cloud was visible in the nighttime sky, and every star was shining visibly. Where the hell is this rain coming from? 
Last time I knew, there had to be clouds in order for it to rain. I proclaimed quietly to myself. I began walking towards my front door when I began hearing a strange tapping noise that sounded like it was coming from my window. I turned slowly, walking back to my window to see what was there. But I couldn't see anything. It's not like nothing was there. No. It was pitch black. I couldn't see anything past my window. As if someone had taken a giant piece of black construction paper and taped it over my window. Weird, I said as I began walking back towards my front door. Maybe it's just one of those kids next door playing a prank on me or something. I reached my doorway and opened the door slowly. Grabbing the wooden bat I kept next to the door as safety. Anyone there? I shouted looking around. It was pitch black here too. I couldn't see anything in front of me. All I could hear was the ever so growing ferocity of the rain pouring down on the street and onto my home. Last chance. Is anyone there? I waited for a reply. Nothing. Okay. I'm coming out. I shouted walking out onto my front porch. I couldn't see where I was walking, so I used the railing around my porch as a guide. Finally, my eyes adjusted to the darkness, allowing me to barely see what was moving through this unusual darkness. Come out, whoever you are. I'm done with the games. To be honest, I was afraid. It felt as if someone was watching me. As I clambered around my house in search for whatever was tapping, then I heard the most bone-chilling sound I could ever hear. It sounded like a bear, but it was high-pitched, as if it were combined with a dog whistle and nails on a chalkboard. I covered my ears in an attempt to drown out the vicious noise. STOP! I yelled at the top of my lungs, hoping whatever it was would just shut up. Then it stopped. I slowly removed my hands from my ears allowing myself to listen to my surroundings once more. Nothing. Not even the sound of the rain that was falling as heavy as ever. I thought I had gone deaf, but I began walking, and my footsteps could be heard. I'm not deaf. That's a good thing. I panted to myself. Just then, I heard something scuttle behind me. Who is it? I yelled, looking at the spot that I heard the noise from. Whatever it was had moved again, to my left. Stop playing games! I began to panic, not knowing what was happening. Again it sounded, this time behind me. My heart and stomach both sank. I knew what was happening. It was circling me, as if I were... prey. I quickly bolted, making a mad dash for my front door. Whatever this thing was, it was following me. I knew this because I heard its movement behind me, getting closer and closer, and I began to pick up the pace. Jesus, I don't remember my house being this damn long! I thought to myself, as I followed the walls. Whatever it was happened to be right on my heels. Then finally, I found the corner of my house. I made a quick right and listened as whatever it was bypassed the corner and ran out into the streets. The sight was horrible. Sitting there, illuminated by the streetlight was what looked like a man, hunched over. Its skin was torn and fresh blood was oozing from its body, covering the ground where it stood. Its teeth or what were taken as teeth, were sharp, bloody, and barbed. And that's not the scary part. Its eyes, or better yet, its eye, were fully opened, shining brightly in the light, staring directly at me. I dashed onto my porch just as it dashed at me. I glimpsed to my left and wished I hadn't. Whatever it was, it was directly next to me. Its face aligned with mine, and I could smell the rotten flesh all over its body. Holy sh- Is all I managed to yell out as it clawed at my face. 
I don't quite remember what had happened after that. But I remember waking up in the hospital with an extremely sharp pain in my left eye and a nurse leaning over me. Where am I? What happened? I asked. The nurse, a young woman in her mid-twenties, told me that I was brought here by my neighbor after they reported hearing me yell. What's the damage? I asked. Well, you seem to be missing your left eye, and you have several scratches in. I cut her off. My what? I asked hesitantly. Your left eye. My stomach dropped. It was on a day, just like this one, that I lost my eye. I was walking down the street, pitch black, with only the streetlights to guide me. I still felt the pain in my left eye socket. Man, what a crappy night, I proclaimed. And, as if right on cue, it began to pour, but all remained silent. Interesting is the only word I could muster up as fear overcame me. I looked around, and what I saw chilled me. There, standing in the streetlight, was the skinless thing, with both of its eyes intact. <laughs>